In 2010, the Republic of Korea embarked upon a forward-looking experiment to share its vision and experience of growing its economy in a sustainable manner through the founding of the Global Green Growth Institute. Ten years. Back then, in the year 2010, it only started uh, from a very small group of people but like-minded people who really wanted to change the world for our sustainable future. And now it has grown into a very important and essential international organization. After just two years in operation, GGGI transitioned from a Korean foundation to a treaty-based intergovernmental organization with 18 founding members. In 2013, as its first year as an international organization, GGGI has made a lot of changes. We strengthened our internal capacity and improved the country operations. As the Institute grew in scale and scope in the ensuing years, the organization continued its commitments in working in developing and emerging economies. By the middle of the decade, GGGI had placed a greater focus on least developed countries, for example in Africa and the Pacific. Using the lessons learned from its early years, GGGI was now in a position to be a trusted advisor for countries who are most affected by climate change. By the time GGGI was five years into its mission, it began placing a premium on facilitating green finance and in the latter part of the decade had helped mobilize 1.6 billion US dollars in green investment projects. 2017 marked the first full year of my term at GGGI. Since that time, I've had an opportunity to witness the growth of the organization to support more members to accelerate their green transition. GGI supports more than 30 member countries now to deliver green growth plans and a pipeline of green investment projects. In just 10 years, GGGI has more than doubled its membership from 18 to 37 members committed to green growth. The organization also expanded to delivering programs for more than 30 members and partners and had developed targeted programs in the areas of green cities, sustainable energy and sustainable landscapes. GGGI has recently got the Strategy 2030 approved by the Council last October. That set the direction for the organization over the next decade. The Strategy 2030 lays out GGGI's vision and priorities to support its members achieve their green growth aspirations. I'm proud of GGGI as a one pillar of Green Triangle in the context of the Low Carbon Green Growth Strategy. Now I'm wishing for more glorious achievements of GGGI in the next 10 years. As host country, the Republic of Korea continue to support GGGI as much as possible so that we may further contribute in making the world green together, in making the world greater tomorrow. Now more than ever, given some of the recent unpredictable and challenging developments, we need GGGI's members and partners to reaffirm their support and to bring new partners and innovative ideas on board. Our track record is a convincing selling point and it speaks for itself. But at the same time, we will continue to promote green growth and thereby help lift people out of poverty and generate wealth through green jobs and save our planet. As GGGI begins its second decade of bringing green growth to the world, the organization has ambitious plans for expansion and helping to lead the way for all countries to forge a green growth path. By 2030, GGGI will be the go-to partner for economic growth and dynamism.